Once you've created a book, you come to the book dashboard in Pressbooks. For example, you may want to start by writing a new chapter. That can be easily done from the dashboard here by just clicking the Write a New Chapter button. Clicking this button will open an authoring interface in Pressbooks, so you can provide a title for your chapter. After giving your ch chapter a title, you can move into the visual editor down below. Here's where you can write and edit uh, any content you want. From the editing menu, you can select any text and turn it into a heading. You do that by selecting the text and applying the heading style. This will now be styled as a second level heading. You can also type or paste text from any source you like down below. As you start typing your text, you'll see uh, a bunch of other visual indicators up above. You can create, make text bold or italicized. You can add lists. You can make text into a block quote. Even make a link by typing a URL and clicking apply. Uh, there's a bunch of other visual indicators here. Some of them have to do with how you can format your text, as well as creating custom text boxes. Many of these text boxes are useful when you're creating educational learning material. For example, you might want to create a learning objectives box, or a key takeaways box, or an exercises or examples box. I'll create the examples box, and you'll see it creates a pre-formatted text box with colors and sample text that you can modify or replace. You also have the ability to create standard or shaded text boxes. Here is a shaded text box, and you put the content you want in there. You can also insert media, images, audio, or video into your book. I'll start by adding an image. To do that, you'd click the Add Media button, and then you select a file from your computer, an image that you want to add to your book. In this case, I have an image prepared of Aldo Leopold. I'll give it some alt text so that this can be described accurately for people who can't see the image and I can also give it a caption. Once that's done, I decide if I need to give attribution, if this image came from somewhere else and I want to cite the source and indicate the license. After selecting the size, I click Insert into Chapter, and this has now inserted that media or that image in my book. Once I've done so, I can choose the alignment or leave it as it is, and I could later edit the image, its caption, or other information about this. I also have the ability to create, uh, to add videos. To add a video from YouTube, for example, I can simply enter a new line and paste the URL of the YouTube video I want to add. Pressbooks will recognize that it's a video link and automatically create an embedded video. Another common thing you may want to do is add a footnote to your book. This is available in the visual editor here. Clicking the insert footnote button brings up a prompt where you type the content that you'd like to add to your footnote. Once you click OK, Pressbooks will insert a short code that gets processed as a footnote. At any point while you're editing or creating this chapter, you can click the Preview button to see how your chapter will look. When I click Preview, a new tab will open and I will see how my chapter looks. I'll see my heading, my link, my footnote. Clicking on it will take me down to the footnote, and clicking this button will return me back to its location. Here's my embedded video, here's my sample text box, my shaded text box, and the image that I inserted. If I like that and I'm content with how my chapter looks, I come over to the Status and Visibility box, and I click Save. Saving this will save a draft. It will, I will see it here under Revisions. I can always go back and view past saves of this chapter and restore them, or look at changes that I may have made. You'll also see three different options here. Show in Web, Show in Exports, Show Title. When the Show in Web button is clicked, this means it will be visible on the public web if your book is public. Show and Exports means this chapter will be included if you make exports like EPUB and PDF exports. And Show Title means show this title when the chapter is viewed. Click Save will then change those settings. That's the basics of how you can create and edit content in Pressbooks.